peaceful social being is preferable to isolation and to war. In consequence, it justly and rightly demands some sacrifice of individual impulse and idiosyncrasy. Okay, so you want to live alone in the bush? You're going to starve to death and be eaten by black flies. It's not a good solution. Okay, so you have to cooperate with other people, and that means you can't get to be your whimsical self 100% of the time. It means that most of you has to be sacrificed so that you can be approximately like everyone else. Now, that's a real sacrifice, right? It's, it's a sacrifice of... Of, it might even be a sacrifice of some of the unique qualities that everyone needs from you. Socialization costs, but the advantage of it is, while we get to exist, look, we can all sit together in this hall and no one has their hands around each other's throats. And we're talking about serious things. Okay, man, that's worth something. And what it's worth in part is, you don't get to be whatever spectacularly colored creature you want to be all the time. You have to do what you can to be normal and predictable. And it's not like normal and predictable is the highest virtue, because it's not. And, and being more than normal and being, and being unique and creative and contributing in that way is extraordinarily important. But the fundamental point is, is that social being requires the sacrifice of a certain amount of individual idiosyncrasy. And that's a fundamentally conservative claim. It's like, you should, be, you should do what everyone else does unless you have a really good reason to vary. It's a good rule. It's like, you do what people have done throughout time. You grow up, you find a partner, you establish a stable relationship, you get a job, you make yourself useful, you have some children, you do something productive and interesting with your spare time, and you try to act like a respectable human being. That's what you do. That's a conservative ethos. And if, you're, if you have something spectacular about you that needs to be revealed to the world, then break some rules, man. Go right ahead. I'm dead serious about that, but most of the time you don't. And even if you happen to be a special person, and you might be, 90% of you still isn't special. So most of the time you're still going to be following the rules. And the rules aren't there to oppress. They're there to keep us, at, they're there to keep us away from each other's throats. Because human beings are very warlike, and we're very competitive, and we're very aggressive. And if we are fortunate enough to have woven together a social fabric that basically renders us peaceful and cooperative, we should try disrupting that at our great peril. Because the general rule for human existence throughout the centuries has been turmoil and war. And we don't have that here. And so thank God for that. And it's worth a bit of a sacrifice.